What's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Battlefront 2! So, at least at the beginning of this mission, they actually pay some kind of recognition to the other unit that's supposed to be here in place of the 501st. This time it's the 182nd Legion. Um, at least I believe that's the correct Legion that is there uh, in the film. But I'm not entirely sure. It's the one where, um, it's the yellow guys. With the wacky shoulder pads. I really would have liked to be able to play as them, honestly. It's been said that the 501st got the best of the war. We also got the worst. Aunt Felucia the Seps dug their metal heels into the muck of that alien hellhole and dared the Republic to come in after them. So we did. Only to be met with the month after month of flesh-eating diseases, shrieking nocturnal predators, and other sights that haunt me to this day. Cut off and for all we knew abandoned by our superiors, our only hope was Ayla Sekuda, our Jedi commander. Without her iron will, none of us would have come out of that mess with our sanity or our lives. When her death came, I hope it was quick. She earned that much. Uh, let's see. One thing I'll notice in that cutscene is you, you caught a glimpse there of the, um, the far, uh, draw distance, uh, low detail character models that exist in this game. The game really doesn't even try to hide those. They've been... The same character models from the first game, so at a, lo a long draw distance, they go down to a more simplified version of the character model to conserve um, frame rates and everything on such a large-scale map. Anyway, so the first part right here can actually be pretty difficult because we have um, six Accolade, and Accolade, as you remember from Attack of the Clones, are this ridiculously overpowered um, wild creature thing. It's like a giant praying mantis with teeth. And it's going to come and kick the crap out of us if we don't do something about it. So the two classes that I recommend for fighting them are either the Engineer or the Heavy Trooper. I chose the Engineer because he has these uh, these debt packs. Which are like, um, they're kind of like satchel charges. You can Actually, it's more like C4. You can just kind of detonate it whenever you want. Um, and uh, I at first really didn't know what to think about this because there was nothing really like this in the previous game. He's not a Demolitions Clash by far. He's more of the saboteur of enemy installations and whatnot because he can slice into vehicles and he can place those debt packs wherever he wants. Um, they're reasonably powerful, not as powerful as the mines or as a rocket, but they're still pretty powerful. They can do a lot of damage exactly. He also has the scatter gun as I mentioned before. And that was my phone. But if you can place the death pack right underneath them and blow it when they walk over it, I think that's the best way to deal with them. The other, the other way would be with the heavy trooper and his rocket launcher and the mines. Preferably the mines, if you have friendly fire off, so you can detonate the mines right in front of you. The problem with that is they emit such a large explosion, a lot of times they'll send you flying backwards. And you'll be uh, helpless to defend yourself if there are any other Acolyte in the area. Also, they have to the Acolyte have to walk over a very specific spot to trigger the mines. So I feel like the debt packs just work a lot better. But yeah, your, your other guys are pretty... I'm not really sure where their weak spot is, I think. It's directly under them, but we got a critical hit there, as you saw. But our guys are pretty much helpless to deal with these guys. The, the clone commander there just got walked right over. Um, his chain gun is not too effective against these guys. It really does take a lot of punishment to knock them down. So our second p command post here is going to be this ATTE, which is currently um, suffering from some damage. That's the problem with having a walker, is it needs to be able to walk. So we need to fix its legs. Uh, while we're repairing it, we don't have to repair it, we just have to defend it until um, uh, the timer runs out there. So one of two things is that going to happen, either it's going to be destroyed, or you're going to run out of reinforcements in that period of time. And now, granted, it's not really that long a period of time, so it's, this is not very hard at all. Wow, I just got killed by splash damage. But I figured I might as well go ahead and give us, give us an unfair advantage by uh, repairing it just a little bit beyond its normal health that it starts out with. Uh, also, at the beginning of this, if you watch the uh, preview video there that shows the footage from Revenge of the Sith, you do get to see a brief glimpse of some vehicles that are in that convoy that are not in this game at all, such as the uh, the Swamp Speeder, and um, there's a variant of the ATTE. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like a transport carrier. It has like an open canopy, and it just holds like a bunch of guys in there. It doesn't have the turret or anything on it. I can't remember what they call that. So yeah, I, should, I guess I could have swapped over to the commander, and I probably should have, because that would have been much better than a regular trooper class for what I'm doing right here, which is just defending this thing against endless waves of enemies until the timer runs out. 
Um, but, oh well. I'm pretty sure I had enough points to play as the commander at this point. Yeah, I definitely do. In, uh, in instant action mode, on this map, the ATTE is, no, is not here. This, this map is honestly, this is actually a really small map for the ATTE, and it doesn't really have a lot of room to maneuver. It's, it's really overpowered, and it doesn't really have a lot of room to move around. There's some scripted spawns, now we're playing as the Jedi Ayla Sakura. There's some scripted spawns for some, um, some snipers over here by this down gunship. Um, and there's a uh, power supply there we gotta pick up. In the cutscene for this, for some reason they show her with one purple lightsaber for some reason, which is kind of odd because no one else would ever have a purple lightsaber except for you know who. So um, the ATT is actually already reactivated at the time that that occurs. I think it's if engineers heal it or whatever. I think there was some glitch that me and my brother discovered where you could like copy the ATT or something like that, or, or like it gets a free heal or something like that. I can't remember what we did. It was really strange. But there's something to do with him healing it before Ayla Sakura got back with the um, the power supply there. Um, these turrets are NPCs, and they're pretty uh, they're pretty harmless unless you aggro them. There's a lot more accolade that'll spawn after this objective. Basically, the objective now is just to take the ATTE and go destroy um, the rest of these turrets. Oh, man. Those actually are pretty dangerous. They can one-shot you with their physical attacks, although um, they can't damage a vehicle, really. There was an enemy command post there that wasn't really showing up on the map, but I was capturing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, the draw distance on this is just pathetic. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a fog and everything, but it just... You can't even see like the outlines of the other like rock formations in the background. You can just see like this blank generic background there. And having access to the ATTE really draws that really draws attention to all the uh, flaws of this level, which is why it's not in instant action mode. Also, we can uh, take up the turret position here and pretty much hit these guys, even though we can't even see them because we have that unfair marker over their head. Assuming that we actually have line of sight. Nothing really behind us. Yeah, the um, the droids also have that um, armored uh, armor tank droid from. Well, actually, I think this is the first time we've uh, we've seen it in this game so far. I think it's a uh, it's our, either a commerce guild or a banking clan. I think it's a banking clan um, tank, and. Uh, it, ru it runs on treads and it has a scatter blaster as its primary weapon and some mortar launchers as well. Um, they're pretty tough. I'll actually pilot one right here for you. There we go. Obviously, the, uh, they move really slow. They can only move really in a straight line. And the ATTE makes short work of them. But they're pretty good against the uh, IFT-X tanks that the Republic has. See, purple fucking lightsaber. What the hell is going on? Calling us the bravest soldiers she'd ever seen. It's a good thing we were wearing helmets. Because none of us could bear to look her in the eye.